There's, there's no excuse. God is good. God is faithful. God is love. God is real. God is the creator. Just look around at this amazing universe that, that we have and the, 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 just the bigness of God. He's there. He, he, he loves us. And then how personal he, he became for us when, when Jesus came and, and represented who God is in human form, the perfect man, the son of God. And, and so now we can know him, follow him, and, and experience the life that he has for us, we got to drop the excuses and go all in and, and follow him each day and surrender our lives to him and, and experience all that he has for us. And so uh, it's a message for me today. I'm, I'm an excuse maker for a lot of you know, worldly things, practical day-to-day -day things that still take away from relationships and, and, and strain certain situations, but then also spiritually speaking, no more excuses for why we're not reading the Bible. We just got to get up a little bit earlier, right? The, the benefit of spending time with God. Let's stop making excuses for why it's not happening. And we got to stop with the excuses for why we're not going to church. You know, I, I know the Rona is still going on in, in many ways, but we got to take the steps to get back into church and, and to start serving and to, to be a part of this body of believers. Uh, it's so crucial and important.